cooking. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of jeans that my son's going to throw away. And they're still good. So before we get into this haul guys, it's important to really get hydrated because we're going to spill the juice and spill the water and just kidding. <laughs> I am seriously thirsty. Oh. So I've just finished. Oh, hi guys. Uh, welcome to my channel and oh my God, it's, it's a gorgeous day outside. So So I thought I'd just do this haul quickly just to show you a few gems, a few treasures. Guys, if you only look back in your bins and maybe raid your, your brother's or your sister's closet for those stuff that they throw aside, you would find gold and silver and diamonds and emeralds well you know i love emeralds but today i raided the stuff that my son decided he no longer wants and anyone who knows me i've always worn men's pants and shirts my father's whatever they have their pajamas I love men's clothing and now that I am more sustainable everybody's closet is being raided even under the beds and that's another story because you would learn something from me in a few weeks when I share with you a haul that I'm not telling you right now but you'll know <laughs> you'll know soon enough it's very exciting and I love it and I love that in my new sustainable quest that I am actually finding exciting items that I am actually hauling stuff that's not from the stores so I love that ah so today what I did was to raid my son's closet and I found some pants. You guys have seen one of them before. I did wear my son's pants um, in a video when I went on a day to pamper myself. So just in case you guys missed that, you could see it more clearly there. So yeah, and even like way back when. But let me stop. I talk too much at times. You guys must tell me to shut up sometimes. But anyway, so yes, today I'm going to show you some stuff I got and Sorry, I'm really thirsty. Yes, today I'm going to show you some stuff that I hauled from my son's bag that he just had there lying lying there for years now so i decided that i'm going to go in there and actually look for stuff that i think that i would wear and this piece i found a long time ago when he discarded it so and this is the piece that i have just mentioned that i wore when i was taking a day off to pamper myself so this is it and yeah check that video out and you would see but i'm actually gonna show you also that i paired it with this top here so i paired it with this so here is the pants guys this is just um me pairing it with this top today and guys you're gonna notice something sad even in my quest to be sustainable i'm squishing the girls just to fit into this top because I love the top it's gorgeous and it's a hundred percent cotton and I love the details on this top so if I have to squish the girls just to fit into it and to be sustainable I will 
actually it's not that bad I think the bra was just a little bit displaced but yeah see it's much better here isn't it <laughs> I love this stuff it's I find it so gorgeous and yeah when I fixed the bra it was much better so apologies for the the mm, I saw uh, I'm sorry but yeah, it's really, really awesome. This is a piece that I got from my country. Oh my God, guys. And this was way before the style was in. I got this piece and I realized this is a gem. This is gold. <laughs> so I, I, I've kept it and I've had it there. It's a little bit too snug across here, but... I left these two buttons open, so yeah, sometimes I wear a cami, but it's a little bit hot today, so I've decided to just let them breathe, <laughs> let them breathe a bit today, I'll, 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 I'll just let the girls, them breathe a bit today, I'm always containing them, but anyway, so this is a really gorgeous piece. I love the fit of this piece. And I love the distress, just the distress parts of this jeans. And I just came across this picture with me wearing this same jeans a couple years ago now. This is a typical man's jeans. And everybody, anyone, any girl could get away with styling this because it's it's almost like unisex so there's no challenge there in actually showing you how to pair it although i just did <laughs> the same goes for these other ones i also found guys i'm telling you gems i found levi's a black levi's and it's the real McCoy, there's no stretch, 100% cotton, guys, all these pieces are 100% cotton, wow, I was so excited when I found this Levi's, I also found another Levi's, and this is the blue, look guys, look, my son has gems in his closet, and he just has them there. But as I've said before, there's no challenge in actually showing you how to pair this because you can you can feminize these easily with your regular t-shirt or if you're a tank top kind of girl or whatever kind of girl you are, you can easily feminize these pieces. The same goes for this piece as well. My son, wow. This guy is making jokes. This is a Rockaway brand. And you guys know how expensive these are. Here is a similar one that I found on Amazon and the price is over $100. And I recall working with a colleague of mine and he had given me these stuff to give my son. They were brand new. That's what I've told you guys. This was way in 2007. And I've always believed in exchanging and swapping. So one of my colleagues gave me these. This piece I, I know for sure and another piece I'm going to show you because He's into the bad boy, Sean John kind of wear, street wear. So he, he's into those. My son is more of the straight leg kind of guy and more of a fitted jeans kind of guy. So he, he didn't pay much attention to these. He just, <laughs> he left them right there, but I'm going to be wearing them. And these are the jeans that I'm talking to you guys about. They are typical men's wear. 
and I'll show you the other piece in a few minutes. Seriously, can you believe your kids at times? For those of you who have kids, can you believe them at times? They just leave things there. I am teaching him or trying to teach him to be more sustainable, to recycle, to just, just reuse stuff. He just like to toss things out. It, I, I don't know, but hopefully he would learn from my example. Just the way I want you guys to learn from my example out there. Another piece I found is this piece. And again, the typical man's jeans. And yes, as you can see, it's ripped at the crotch. I guess that's why he threw it out. But on here, we rewear, we repair, we upcycle, we recycle, <laughs> we do everything. So this, I would be repairing and rewearing because nothing else is wrong with it it's 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 a beautiful pair of jeans i'll be wearing these pieces guys i'll be giving them a second life a third life they're gonna be worn and here again is another piece oh my gosh guys see how wrinkled they are because i actually just pulled these out Look at how wrinkled they are. This one is even, <laughs> it has snow marks on top of it. That should tell you how long ago he has this there. So these are the typical pieces that I found and I love them because I think they fit really, really, really well. Guys, really well. So, while I won't be styling all of these today, I'm going to show you today how to style the man's jeans. You heard me right. Not mom's jeans, the man's jeans. The typical bad boy man's jeans. And this, ladies and gentlemen, would be the piece of the day. If you notice, like, this is the real man's jeans, like, the typical man, bad boy, the bad boy on the street jeans, the big pockets, the big leg, the baggy looseness, this is everything that the bad boy loves. So I'm going to show you how you can feminize it, how you can wear it different ways, and you can get so much wear out of your man's jeans. But what I found when I discovered this jean was that it has a very narrow waist because I remember the colleague that gave this to me, he was very into fitness, so his waist was very narrow. But at the same time, he likes it very loose and baggy and so this is really, really surprisingly gorgeous on. Well, I love it. I love it on me and when I wear it out a couple, a couple weeks ago and I've been wearing this to death. It's been my go-to, surprisingly, it's been my go-to jeans for the summer. I have not worn anything else. I've been wearing it like crazy. And it's from this brand. And these are the details on it, guys. It's the really it is going to be feminized so let's do this guys let's show you the many ways that you can feminize the bad boy man's jeans so for this first look I've decided to pair it with a white top and you guys would see the top in a few minutes i've left it long and i'm wearing a floral shoe 
but I've decided to also further casualize this look by rolling up the hem and so you could see the shoe a bit better this really feminized the look and yes the right top is key to feminizing a really bad boy jeans because it is so masculine so you really really want to add that dash actually more than a dash <laughs> like a whole bowl of femininity with this look so here I grab my favorite tote bag and it's in that nude neutral color along with that top Mwah. love that look the second pairing is for those that just love a little casual tee and here I'm just choosing a favorite color of mine as well it's in my top five this orange top I just love the way it looks I kind of forgot to zip it up but that's okay but yeah here are the details of this pant it's very masculine so it's very important to really feminize it and I love that look the next pairing sticking with the casual theme is with a white tee and I don't wear the typical white tee this is my kind of white tee and it always has some string details on it so I love the cap sleeve I love this look another great pairing and of course guys here you can see more details I still have the hem rolled up so it really really gives it a really chic casual look you can choose your own t-shirts with it grab your own v-neck your own style of t-shirt this is just my style the second one is the jeans on jeans and this is a typical one but what makes this more feminine and i really really love it is the cut of this top and this is a top that i also got from my country and here i paired it with this chunky belt and it really pulls the look together to give it oh it just cinches the waist and so it just yes guys that's what i mean when i say feminize the bad boy jeans the man's jeans you would think that you wouldn't get wear out of this but i've got so much wear out of this and i absolutely love it really really hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and remember sustainability matters which means you focus on natural fibers fabric then fit then style and you don't buy new polyester items Stay tuned for part two.